Hey guys, it's Jason Snow, and looks like I might need your help. So this is actually pretty important to the channel, because this is actually going to affect VR chat and probably VR chat only, since that's one of my main games. So I've been thinking about repartnering with directly with YouTube, which is called AdSense. So it's not like really a partnership with YouTube, but it's a partnership apparently. And one of the things that comes up is duplication, where apparently you can't you can't have uh, what do you call it your own. Like, you don't own the rights to the visual rights to the video or something like that. It's very confusing. But there's also a thing called third-party copyright. So with third-party copyright, uh, I think with my old network, Curse Network, basically this third-party copyright thing, which I still don't understand, is maybe they were circumventing that on videos where you technically couldn't monetize it, but you, but you can at the same time. Like, it was able to go through, but I guess the the... I guess the actual policies of the game didn't apply for some odd reason. So, basically what it is, uh, without getting everybody confused and whatever. So basically, I'm trying to look for feedback from anybody who's played VR Chat for YouTube. If any of you guys have a VR Chat YouTube channel, and you've, uh, what do you call it, and your partner, just, uh, let me know. Did you have any troubles with, uh, posting VR Chat videos? Did you have, uh, what do you call it? Did you get, like, any flags for VR chat videos? And I'm not talking about, like, music flags. I'm talking about, like, maybe a plain video of VR chat but with, like, no music or anything like that. And if and are you with a network or are you with AdSense directly? So that would help out a lot if you just let me know in the comments below if you are a VR chat YouTuber. You can even leave your channel below. Uh, what do you call it? I'll approve it. So if you just want a free advertisement. <laughs> free advertisement. <laughs> so, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you, uh, so it's just very confusing, and they, I sent an email to VR Chat, and VR Chat sent me an email back saying, I asked them if I could monetize or not, and they said, we had no, we have no issues we could think of, but ask other around the you ask other YouTubers. Like, you don't know your own TOS, or, what? <laughs> like, why do I have to be asking the YouTubers about monetizing your game? So, it doesn't make much sense at all. So, Basically, the ultimatum comes down to this. So, I want my channel to grow, and be, to be able to grow is with a partnership, because that's how I got most of my income. Now, it's not a lot of income at all. I can't actually describe how much I get, but it's enough for maybe a game a month or to upgrade the little PC part if I save up. And on really good months, especially when VR Chat was really popular, I was able to get myself, like, you know, some decent things. And it also supplies, I'm not gonna lie, it does supply the Magic the Gathering opening videos too, which I like to do. So, basically, what it does is, uh, I just lost my train of thought. I, I, if I partner through YouTube, there's a waiting process. Now, the process, they're saying it's automatic. Now, I don't believe that, but apparently if you've just been dropped by an MCN and you reapply, apparently it's automatic. So, otherwise, if it's not automatic, it takes up to a month or more for you to get for just the review part. And if you fail the review, they tell you that why they why you failed, but I don't think they tell you exact videos of why you failed, which is an issue. So if I fail because of duplication videos, that probably means I have to delete every single VR chat video known to man on my channel. And I really don't want to do that since that's one of my main content. And I do it for you guys, the fans. I do do it somewhat for me because it's funny and stuff, but I've been mostly doing it for the fans because, I mean, it has died down a little bit. I mean, let's just be honest. Uganda Knuckles aren't as popular as they once were, but hey, I still do the interviews because they're very interesting and it's cool to see other people's opinions. But if that's going to hold back my channel, then I have to decide between the two. Do I want my channel to grow more and have some revenue so I can start going into other games? Or do I want to keep up these VR chat videos and then not be able to go anywhere with the channel? It's really a pain in the butt to decide. So the third option is, of course, Twitch. But Twitch, I'm not really doing well in. I do have the average of one viewer, so I went from like 0.68 to 1.2 or something like that, so that's pretty cool. But the problem is, it, it's the growth is like extremely slow, and I can't guarantee that I will get any kind of affiliate, especially with how slow the growth is compared to like years ago when I was easily getting three viewers like it was nothing. So, I will just have to see what happens. So I guess let me know in the comments below if you know anything about the VR chat videos, if you know anything about VR chat monetization and stuff like that. Do you basically do you have a channel that does VR chat videos? Have you had any issues with monetization? And I, most importantly, are you part of AdSense or are you part of a network? So I'm guess I'm assuming if you're part of a network, you're okay automatically. 
for some reason, but if you're part of YouTube, they'll notice that you're doing this duplication and stuff. So thanks for watching, and I will have some more VR chat for you guys in the meantime, but we'll have to see what happens on the final decision. I might just do the review process and fail it, just to see if that's the case, and if I do fail it, then I might have to end up deleting a lot of the videos. Yeah, I did delete a couple videos because they were very questionable, like the big smoke video because I had a little too much, you know, high, high value curse words, I like to call them. And, uh, one of the Knuckles videos, because it was borderline, apparently racist. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't really racist, it was all in good fun, but the problem is people take it out of context, so I was like, eh, let me delete it. And then, of course, as I told you guys before, anything involving children got deleted. Because I'm, I don't want to deal with any asking the parents for permission and stuff, so. I shall see you guys next time.